So, I am based at Augustine United Church, which is in right in the heart of Edinburgh. It's in the Old Town. We are just around the corner from Chamber Street Museum, which is the National Museum of Scotland. Uh, we are, I think, seven minutes walk from Edinburgh Castle, so it's very much part of the historic city is where we are. Uh, we are a gathered congregation uh, of the United Reformed Church and uh, we have people come from not just all over the city but from beyond the city to be part of, uh, to be part of this congregation. What I like most about ministry is the people. Uh, I love this community. It's a very diverse community of people from different backgrounds, uh, different experiences of life, different identities. And I love being part of a community that is so diverse and wants to be together and is aspirational, has hope uh, that, that being together is, makes a difference, is transforming, that God is in the midst and that Jesus brings us hope. So it's the people are what I really, really enjoy. Um, every day I learn something new and to hear the world through other people's eyes is just fascinating. You'll hear behind me uh, some conversation going on. This is part of our mental health drop-in that we have um, every week. It's run with a, in partnership with the chaplains from the Royal, the Royal Edinburgh Hospital, the lo local psychiatric hospital. And again, these people, their stories are so diverse and uh, it's a real privilege to journey with them. I think currently trying to be all things to all people which can be quite difficult. Uh, and I think it's also, it's very challenging at the moment to be in ministry because the future is very uncertain. Now, on one hand, that's incredibly exciting because change is in the air and change is growth and, and growth is where we discover the spirit. But at the same time, it's quite hard to um, develop work when you're not exactly sure what you're developing towards. So you're constantly looking for signs of growth and encourage and inspiring them and nurturing them as much as you possibly can. Uh, because in the context that we live, it's quite hard to know what the future church will look like. So we're making it up as we go along and part of me loves that, but part of me also finds that really exhausting. It's deeply, deeply rooted in justice. Now that's a vision for the world. What is the role of the church in that? It's prophet and pastor. I think ministers of word and sacrament, particularly within the UK, really lack a sense of purpose, a sense of clear purpose as to what their role is. And I would like to see that sharpened up so that, because I truly believe that as ministers of word and sacrament, we have a significant role to play within the church and to play within our society, within our world. And uh, I'd like to see people more confident about that and more focused in what, in what we all do. I'd want to say that I think that the job, the profession as such is changing a lot and to be constantly willing to adapt at the same time still being pastoral and prophetic. Part of our calling is to be uh, reflective practitioners, it's to be constantly evolving within our practice and to have the confidence to uh, do what's set in front of us, to not feel hidebound by what always has been and to develop and grow the gospel, to develop and grow the kingdom wherever we find it and to accept that the job that you will be doing in 20 years time will not be the same as the job that you are doing when you begin um, and that's a good thing to embrace it, to work with it and to develop within it. Thank you.